Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Janet. And what I'm about to tell you guys is not good news. It's bad news and it's even worse, especially for my youngest son, that it, this happened Christmas time make it harder to well I believe which will make it harder to forget the exact date so I've told you guys before that um, we have four dogs um, I believe all of them have been in my video <laughs> somewhere they're all in there um, however on Saturday we had to make the choice for Kiara the oldest female that we had um, and put her down that is Derek's dog I believe she's 10 or 11 had hip and knee problems hip and knee problems for a while now she never sat right she never sat like a dog she literally sat on her bottom and had her back feet you know just straight out in front of her so that did not help her hips at all and so we believe out in the yard there are some holes that the dogs have dug and we believe that's how she basically tore her acl the ligament in your knee she tore the ligaments in her knee and we had done lots of medication she she was on pain medicine every day twice a day and we've done laser therapy on her knee a few times I don't remember exactly how many times so basically we were just trying to make her as comfortable as possible and you could see that some of the stuff was helping like the laser therapy that it was helping because she would have this little pep in her step and you know just act like a pup again a few months ago we started noticing like I believe she was having seizures in her sleep that lasted for a couple weeks and then it just stopped But Saturday, she fell down and she never got back up. She had um, lost control of her bodily function. tried to get her to stand up and she couldn't so we knew most definitely at that point even though she would have figured a way to get around without being able to use her back legs she was just that dog she's the strongest dog I have ever met she's the strongest dog I've ever met but at the same time was the sweetest dog it's just I don't it's like I mean you lost a member of your family 
and that's just what it is. So I've tried to be strong for my son, of course, because This is his first time ever losing a pet. You know, of course, it's not my first time, but at the same time, I don't want to see my son hurting. <laughs> just don't know what to do for him. I just, I feel like empty. I just have like this emptiness feeling and I don't know how to explain it. I mean, that's truly the best way I know how to explain it especially you know at work today I don't know why it hit me Sunday morning I woke up but I woke up because I was thinking about her you know at work I was I've been so quiet today because just thinking about her and you know my son I have any suggestions on how to help him please leave it in the comment section below and let me know because just like any other parent grandparent or guardian or whatever I would do anything for him so any advice you guys could give me with this situation would be very appreciative so yeah that's what's going on it's not good news it's bad news it's it's horrible news and uh, yeah i'll talk to you guys later